war. War never changes. Hello, creators. Today we're going to replicate the Pip-Boy Vats aiming system effect from the Fallout series. To make it easier for you, we've prepared an archive with project files. Feel free to download it from the description below before getting started. If you're ready, launch the editor, create a new project. We're also gonna switch to the Prime Workspace mode and import your footage. Place the video on the timeline, play a couple of seconds and make a cut. Now head over to the Tools panel and select Create Snapshot. The snapshot will be automatically added to the Resources window. Just drag it to where the playhead is and shift the second part of the video on the timeline. Make a double-click on the snapshot and add the zoom effect from the Video Effects menu. In the Properties window, find Levels, proceed to Parameter Change along a Bezier curve and open the graph using this little three-dot icon. Now play one or two seconds and create a keyframe. Set the desired zoom level and zoom direction using the cross. Then move to the next point at the end of the graph and duplicate the values. Go back to the first keyframe and create a marker. OK, the aiming part is ready. We are now going to work on setting the target. Close the graph editing mode, set the playhead where the marker is and add a free shape. For starters, outline the object. Then go to the Properties window and set the following parameters. Pen color – green. Pen thickness – 5. Brush – fill background – pattern. For the pattern, use the image from the archive. If you've followed the previous steps, it's already in your Resources window. Double-click on the free shape and the timeline and go to the Video Effects menu. Proceed to Adjustments and select Colorize. In the Properties window, find Green Levels and type 215. Copy the Colorize layer to the clipboard. Go one layer up and find the Blending Mode menu. Select Hard Light for the layer containing free shapes. Continue outlining shapes using the pattern and applying the Colorize effect from the clipboard. You'll want to place all shapes one after another and set their duration at 1 or 2 seconds. When all shapes are ready, go back to the main Timeline tab and drag the Gaming interface from the Resources window to the top layer on the timeline. Adjust its size if necessary. Now drag the audio file from the Resources window to the timeline.
The file brings three types of sounds. The approaching sound, the aiming sound, and target lock-on. Cut the audio file and place the fragments according to the positions of the shapes. And that's it! Feel free to use this effect in your projects. We hope you liked this tutorial. Hit the thumbs up if you did. And remember to subscribe. Stay tuned!